Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Motors Management Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we are going to see how we can connect our PC with that TCST. So let's go to the presentation. So the idea is to communicate using this port of the TCST that I have next to me using a communication cable. Then that cable is going to be connected to my PC and in order to control and configure the test CST, what we need is a software and a DTM. The software is SOMOL and the DTM is the test CST. Those files can be downloaded from our website. This is just a pretty screen. When you access to our website, you just download the latest SOMOL and also the DTM for test CST that also includes the test CCU. And something important, uh, those two things are free. Okay, the only thing is that uh, you will probably need to register some move, okay, but that is also free. You just need to go to the license portal, create your account, and just link your uh, some move to that account, and that's it. So, in order to connect to the thesis, there are a few things that we need to check is that the some move is installed and also the library is installed. So, if we open some move, having the other screen. You should be able to see all this. So in the top part here, list the device software installed in this PC. You must have this TSCST. Otherwise, you all will not be able to communicate with the device and see the configuration of the device. Okay. And it's important to close the move and then install the DTM. Okay. Let's continue with the presentation. Don't want to spoil anything. So there are different ways to connect to the um, TSST. The idea on this presentation is to use any other TSST, okay? Because you we have the possibility to use, for example, the TSST with Ethernet communication. So you just connect with the Ethernet port, use the default MAC address, IP address, um, based on the MAC address, and that's it. But let's go to the traditional. I will cover most of the TSST. So. The easiest way would be to use this cable over here. So if you use this cable, which is the same as you use to communicate with our drives, with the Altivars drives, you should be able to use this cable and then use, of course, some move and the DTM for the proper uh, drive. In this case, we just need the DTM for the SST. And you can see there are different ways. So the uh, basic way would be to have the SST okay and use the hmi port to communicate with our pc additionally what we have is a possibility to use the expansion model for voltage metering and use the other port to communicate with the thesis and then a little bit more advanced can be the possibility to use the hmi so if you remove the hmi you should be able to find the port and the port is the one that you can use for the uh, this cable Okay, so these are the different ways that we have in order to communicate with the TESIS T. Then the process is very simple. It's just if we just want to upload the information, just connect and see what is inside the device, we just need to edit connection and scan, select Modbus as the way that we're going to communicate with the device, and then we need to click here in this gear. So we can configure the communication protocol on the port that we are going to select. So in the COM port, you should be able to select yours. Okay. In my case, I have the COM port 10. It can be any on your system, but you need to find this. You need to find this name when you select the one that you want. Okay. Because this one is related to the that cable that I mentioned before. And then by default, if nothing is changed, we have this by default that came with this. Uh, let me just move myself. So if you if you go to the um, to the communication hardware or the user manual guy, you should be able to find this information. Okay, which are the default. Um, configuration for the Modbus communication on the HMI port, which is the one that we need to use in order to communicate and use the cable. So uh, we just need to 
put the drug myself over here. You just need to press OK once you apply this. A scan for devices to see if you have a device on the network and then just connect. So let's try it. So here, edit connection. Du -du -du -du. Here you can see that I have different things. And we need to select this one. It is mandatory. And then select the parity and stop bid and bow rate, which is the standard or the default for this device. I scan the network. Find the device. You can double click or just connect. We try to drag all the information. You must read all this. <laughs> Press Alt F. And then the software will load information from the TSST into your laptop. And then you should be able to see what is in there. So let's just wait for it to finish. A little bit more, just take a little more time. We are almost there. <laughs> and there we go. So it will load all the information about the device that we that we are connected with. Okay. Probably you should be able to see this one is black. In your the real one is black now it is not longer white uh, here you should be able to find the characteristics of the device that you have in my case i have direct connection to the tcst without the expansion that's why you don't see you see this as empty then you should be able to see all the operation just a graphical um way to see everything that is connected to the unit and you can add more things over here to monitor in case you need it in my case i don't have anything connected so everything is in zero in my case you can see all the inputs and outputs in my case it's not connected to anything you can go to the parameter list so here you should be able to find all the different operation modes okay depending on operation mode you have different behaviors on the unit did you have the communication part for the ip address in this particular case because it's an eternal one but here you should be able to see the hmi port which is a configuration that I show on the presentation. And then, depending on the model, you should be able to have voltage or power. If you have the one with the expansion, you should be able to see information here. In my case, I don't have that. So this part is empty. Then you have the possibility to see the trips. If it's something has trip, the reason you have here all the information. And again, in my case, as I don't have the voltage model, this part for power is not going to show anything at all. Okay, you have the trip history in case you have something, you have the information over here, you have the possibility to monitor, so you can use this to monitor information. You also have the diagnostics, okay, and the statistics. And then if you want to program the things, you have the information there. Okay, so this is how you can communicate with the TSST in order to uh, read the actual configuration and in case you want to modify it. So thank you very much, thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.